Florida is one of the busiest areas in the country for the repossession business, and Daytona Beach is the home to one of the oldest and best. Mountain is really the largest independently owned repossession agency in the world. Well, we'd like to believe that we um, are the best in a very difficult field. There's virtually no place in the free world that, that it's impossible for us to get the car recovered. We believe we've brought a degree of uh, integrity and intelligence to a rough and tumble industry. It's like any other business. The more you know of the basics, the more successful you're going to be. One of their secrets to success is the way the company thinks about debtors. Well, we're mindful of the fact that many of these people are just people like you or I that have encountered bad times, honorable people that initially had every intention of paying the debt, but ran into difficulties. We're dealing with fellow human beings. We're also real mindful that almost every individual in America has an attorney now who's ready to step in at a moment's notice in case anyone makes any mistake whatsoever. Falcon has six offices in Florida alone. Being one of the biggest and most experienced companies means that lenders for all types of vehicles use their services. We've got a few repossessions we're going to do from our Tampa office today. I believe one's going to be an RV and one's going to be a semi-truck. Repossessing the items will be the team of Al Smith, the private investigator that found the vehicles, and John Nowatka, the recovery agent. John, we found this motorhome uh, from the north end. Do you have time to move with us to see if we can get it? Is that the same one that's been in Skip for a while? Yeah, it's uh, spotted a couple hours ago. Do you have any more information on it? People, whereabouts? I don't have any idea, we just need to go check it out. Let's roll. Guys like John Nowatka are extremely resourceful. And one of the ways they've chosen to expand their field of expertise is becoming proficient locksmiths. Doing the lock work is a lost art. John does harken back to an earlier time. Al is a retired police officer that knows how to track down the collateral. We've been looking for this motorhome for about two months. One of the inherent problems with the motorhome is that by its nature it's a mobile residence. So what do you want to do? How do you want to handle it once we get there? Basically when we roll up I want to get a good um Good view of what's going on. I don't know where exactly these people are. The main thing I'm worried about is just where is this guy going to come from if he's there. Well, the information we got is that he's, you know, he's got a relative who lives about two blocks away and he's just been parking and walking over to the house. Once we get inside, we want to make sure nobody's in and there. I just need to get a good look at the ignition. That's our, that's our unit right there. This RV is valued at $120,000. John makes sure he has an extra pair of eyes watching his back as he does his work. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the lock to go ahead and get inside of it. John doesn't have a key for the RV. He will have to rely on his skill to get it started. All clear? All clear. This is a basic GM six cut ignition. I'm gonna do a few cuts on this thing. Once inside, the pressure is really on. John must work quickly in case the debtor comes back. Every second counts. Try to get some marks. This is a Curtis key gun. Basically by doing this, the tumblers that are inside are leaving marks on my key. Right here, I'm looking at the marks that I'm getting. This is gonna turn the ignition over. It's telling me which one it is. So I'm gonna keep doing this until the the actual gun goes over. This is where an expert is needed and the forgotten art of lock picking comes into play. And we got it. Let's see if this thing will fire up. There we go. This has got all air pressure on it. So we gotta get this thing fired up. We gotta get up air pressure so we can move it. We don't use those Curtis guns too often. Normally a lot of locksmiths use that just to make the key. Like, you know, we've, we've been able to use that during the repossession and it's worked out well for us. Um, that's only if you're used to the locks. If you're not used to the locks, then forget even trying to do that. That's not for your, uh, your novice repossessor. I think that took less than a minute. Your mouth gets a little dry after a few of these, but um, that one went, went over pretty smooth. I've been doing this for about five years. It's a rush that you can't describe. It's something different every day. And you know, I can honestly say that I wake up and go to something that I love to do every day. And it's always something different. You can't, uh, you can't beat it. It's the best time in the world. 
Um, from this point, it's going to go into our storage until the lender decides what they want to do with it. Uh, it could go to an auction, it could get sold, it's uh, a number of things could happen, but for the meantime it's going to be in storage. Um, at this point we have to report this repossession to our authorities, which will be the Sheriff's Department in this case, and let them know what we did, just in case somebody wants to report this stolen, they'll find out it's been repossessed. It's a real good unit, very expensive. We got wrapped up? I'm wrapped up, man. We got a semi, we got to run check over by the causeway. Let's grab it. We're going after a 1995 Freightliner semi. The driver's in town and staying in a motel. So we're going to see if he's there now. We've been looking for him for probably two and a half or three months. The truck driver, they're very mobile, so they're here today, gone tomorrow, kind of a hit or miss proposition. We're going to hope that there's no trailer attached to it, so hopefully he's just bobtailing. And nine times out of ten, if he's at a hotel, he's probably waiting for a load overnight. Uh, we have a key provided from our client. However, you can't depend on that key to work. Uh, we're gonna hope it works. If it does not, we're gonna pick this ignition on. Uh, when you pick an ignition, it could go in a few seconds or it could take you a minute. They pull into the motel and quickly spot a truck. I don't have a color, so I don't know what it is. There's our last six of our bin right there, so that's our unit. We got our backup right here. Let's see what I can do with this. The semi's current value is about $20,000. Brand new, it would be $90,000. As before, John has backup to watch out for the debtor. Already got a confirmation of the last six of the VIN. You can keep an eye out for me from that door and that door over there. I would imagine that's where this guy's gonna be coming out from. John goes to work with the key provided by the client. It works. Now he needs to see if it will start the ignition. It doesn't. He'll have to pick the lock. Our key is no good for the ignition, it's good for the door. John decides to use his favorite pick and pulls it from its trusty place. That was a pretty easy ignition, under a minute, of course. John must wait for the brakes to fill up with air. A tense moment when anything can happen. I think we're about ready to go. Thank you, sir. This was a very smooth repossession, but it's not over till we get home. This thing's very loose. It looks like it has almost a million miles on it. Um, you feel it in the uh, in the wheel. You feel it in the shifter. It's very loose. Um, the good thing was that it started right up for us, and we were able to get out of there fast enough. You always expect the worst, and if you get out of it easy, that's great. Our skip tracer, Al, he got a tip, and you know when he gives us information. You know, it's normally there. When it comes to information, that's his deal, that's his game, that's what he's really good at. And uh, I feel confident every time I go out with something he's run, and you know, boom, you know, you see a product that's work right here. How's it going? Very smooth, good information. I think Patrick's gonna be very